Who is this ghastly man? Your one and only favorite Muppet. <laughs> Hello there, peep of the peeps. What's going on? Welcome back. Welcome back. To the King Boomer Show. The King Boomer Show? Well, it's also the Queen Boomer Show. Oh, thanks. I should change the name of the channel, King. <laughs> no. King and Queen Boomer, because I feel like half the subs are here for you. So. No, you started it. Yeah, Just I started it, but you... Cherry on top. We wouldn't have such a great community without you on Thank the channel. You. So... Uh, <laughs> Last time we reacted to Peep Show, it was we both agreed on camera oh and off camera that that was best probably the best episode we saw so far. Um, so, so good. So season six has been fantastic. Yes. Um, we're getting into episode three today. Uh, I've I've said this on so many Peep Show uh, reaction videos, but every time I look at the title, the title usually scares me. And this one's called Jeremy in Love. Oh, no. So it's got to be just, uh, no. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> um, Jeremy's usually not the one that falls in love, though. It's usually Mark. But um, we all know a, a disaster's waiting to happen. He falls so. in. That's the word. What do you mean? What is the word? Not for, for feisty. Lust. He falls in lust. Falls in lust. Mm hmm Okay. Well. A lot. Let's see what's going on with this episode. And maybe this one would be as good as the last one. Who knows? Maybe, I'm excited. Maybe season six is the pinnacle of Peep Show. A lot of people really like season four the best. But I'm really enjoying oh, this so far. Really funny. So, remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you Muppets want. Okay? Remember, the term Muppet on this channel is a term of endearment. So, please don't come after me if I say <laughs> Muppet. Um, maybe I'll release another Muppet poll again. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to be called? And it's always Muppet. So. You're my Muppet. I'm the, I'm the head Muppet. You are. I, I am the biggest Muppet that ever walked the face of the earth. So, let's get into the reaction, folks. Here we go. I love being me. Morning, Horn. Morning, Jeremy. I need to go to Oh! Bed. I forgot mm, about that. Bring in sick. Tell them Dr. Jeremy says you've got to stay in bed with plenty of fluids. Sexual fluids. <laughs> Hope she doesn't think I'm really a doctor. Ew. First sex with Elena. And it was the best sex I ever had. Wonder why. I just did my usual stuff. Snog diddle, tongue diddle, front behind cuddle. The set menu. Oh, and could you iron my top for me quickly, Jess? Yeah, sure. Why did I say that? I never iron. I have never ironed. I don't even know where the batteries go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm in love. I'm in love with Elena. Aww. Oh my giddy ass. Have you ever ironed? Oh. Yes. Okay. I don't, it's, I don't know. I don't see how anyone would find it complicated. It's easy. I mean, I don't iron anymore. Yeah, I mean, I, feel like I don't, you don't either, have but. To. Well, yeah, because, you know, the. the once you put the thing in the dryer, it kind of irons it out for yeah. you. Yeah. But, you know, we didn't always have that. Yeah. So at one point you did have to iron things, and I learned how to do it as a kid. I had a steamer, and that worked even better. Yeah? And it was quick, because when I was in culinary school, I had to, like, iron my chef coat, and I didn't feel like taking all the stuff out, putting it down, so I bought a steamer, and you just hold it, and it's like, looks like you just ironed it. Yeah. So get a steamer. Yeah, I think eventually my mother got a steamer, but yeah. she, she ironed for so long, and then she got a steamer and was, like, amazed by it. She yeah. was like, wow! So, yeah. God, the battle of the bulge. There's a baby in there. <laughs> what do you say? Love with Elena. We love the bulge. Oh, my giddy ass. Oh, God, the battle of the bulge. There's a baby in there, about the size of a croissant. A terrifying, life-altering croissant baby. So, first, do we want to know in advance whether it's going to be a boy or a girl? Not sure, but let it be a surprise. Of course it'll be a boy, and he'll be Second, just like we'll me. Sort of it'll be like going through it all again. The P.E. hell, the stolen packed lunch, having to do a little dance and sing I'm a gay lord to the tune of Like a Virgin. Oh my well, God! Obviously the tune will be different in 11 years' time. So, given all that, 
I've decided I want to go private. Oh, shit. It'll cost about £6,000. But I'm unemployed. Mum and Dad can contribute about half of that, so we need to find the rest. Right. Go Got you. £3,000. It sounds like they're talking about um, going to a private doctor instead of using their health care system. And they're going to a private doctor and it's still only six thousand dollars that makes me angry yeah i'm pretty sure we've already spent that and we haven't had the baby yet i know thank god the well it's five thousand but the insurance covers the rest i like listen i my doctors have all been really great but oh my god how much money everything costs i'm so scared to get these bills back yeah yeah if you don't have insurance, you're going to just be broke. You're fucked. Yeah, because, yeah, it's insane. Yeah. Insane. But, you know, we can brand about that subject yeah, forever. I won't, so. Yeah, I won't, go to, I won't bother them with that, but yeah. still. Jesus, more than the boiler and the sofa combined. I hope he's clever. I will definitely resent paying three grand for an idiot. So how's the job hunting going? Oh, uh, you know, good. Uh, thinking, actually, of changing career direction. Like what? Teach English as a foreign language, import pecorino, something different, more fulfilling. Yeah, of course, obviously, it'd be really great if you were happy, but it's not the most pressing thing. No, no, of course not. <laughs> I've heard there are some jobs going at Farrell's, the loss adjusters. It might be worth a punt. Uh, OK, I'll, I'll fire off a CV. Loss adjustment. I could do that. My entire life has been one continual adjustment to loss. Right, Corrigan, need a job. You're a man with imminent responsibilities. So, really quick look at Facebook and a tiny bit of YouTube, and then I'll get a CV off to the loss adjusters. Shit, where's the were? Oh no, oh my god, why didn't I back up? I'm exactly the kind of person who backs up. Thank god I abandoned business secrets of the pharaohs. Hey. Bloody computer's dead. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's really dreadful for you. Oh, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Hug it. You what did he do? No, nothing, it's just Jeremy being a fucking lunatic again uh one of the things about peep show that i like seeing just as a like a side note that has like nothing to do with the comedy or the plots or anything mm -hmm. but i because when you first when i first started peep show he had like he was using p computer technology from like 20 years ago yeah and now that it's gone on for six seasons now he's using computer yeah, technology it. from like 10 years ago so you're seeing yeah it's almost like seeing a window, like a window into history of the progression of computer technology. Yeah, you know, it's kind of cool. King, poor you. Are you okay? Is this ecstasy? You're not getting into ecstasy again, are you? I'm in love, Mark, with amazing Elena. I don't want to tempt fate, but I think everything's going to be totally great forever. I'm pleased for you. You don't understand, Mark. I've realized that everything is just a substitute for being in love, reading, running in the Olympics, getting a job, being a doctor, and I don't need those substitutes anymore. Elena is my one true soulmate. It's remarkable, isn't it, that out of the three billion adult women in the world, your one true soulmate happens conveniently to live in the same block of flats as you, rather than, say, in a village in Mozambique. Who knows how these things happen? There are powers at work beyond our understanding. Oh no, there aren't. What was it Shakespeare said? <laughs> he said a lot of things, Jeremy. He basically said something about how there are more things there than there are actual things that you can see with your eyes. That's not the exact quote. Isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to tell Elena that I love her over dinner tonight. Why take the risk? She might not say it back. Why do you have to bring worry and doubt into everything? You're like some kind of mad evangelist for anxiety. Lots to go round, old son. I'm probably a couple of grams lighter now. You know what he sound? You know what Mark sounded? I like that version, of Mark. By the way, what he sat? He kind of sounded like Will from the In Betweeners, but like a more yes, he did a more sad version of it. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but all the things that were coming out of his mouth what is like Will from yeah. something that like Will, Will would, say, would have said with the sarcasm. Yeah, I agree. Nice office for a charity. I wonder if people who give money know it goes on massive luxury chairs. Hi, sweetheart. Ready to go? Oh, God, I'm so ready to go. It's just been desperately horrible here today. Peter, wow. Of Normally, listening to someone else bang so on about their job with their emails and meetings and Maybe Peter's is incredibly and tedious, but I'm actually interested. Peter sounds like a honking great wanker. He is. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? 
I feel like I'm about to take an exam, but one that actually matters, not some mad university exam. Hmm, <laughs> this rye bread is good. Maybe I should text I love you to her. Is that romantic? Or is that shit in the same way that Steve writes Sunday love songs is so hugely shit? Not hungry? Mm. Oh, God, yes. Okay, I'm doing it now. Let's roll. Bread really is excellent, isn't it? Nice and dense. I love you very much. Mark actually got some bread recently that was made from spelt flour. The best spelt flour bread I've ever had was when I lived down in Hastings from Impsons. Okay, really interesting good. response. Did she like hear? Maybe it went in anyway, like when you slip tablets into your dog's food. Jeremy, I love that you love me, but it's complicated. I'm a complicated person, and um, I just need to... Sorry. No. Yes, that's good. Great. Just to be clear, you don't love me back. It's really complicated. It's like a Rubik's Cube or something. Do you think I'm vain? Some people think I'm quite vain or lazy. Do I talk too much? Am I talking too much now? Shall I shut up? None of those things. I'm selfish, aren't I? No. Yes. Well, maybe a little. Really, maybe a I lot. I think you're one of the best people I've ever known. Got it? Got it. I'm a huge selfish bastard. I knew I should have gone down enough for ten minutes instead of the set menu five. A la carte. I should have gone a la carte. Oh my god. <laughs> Pick your feet up, Jeremy. Morning. Those the same clothes you had on yesterday? Yeah. I didn't really go to bed. I just sort of listened to some music and did quite a bit of crying. Oh dear. Aww. He's having an episode. Should I put my hand on his arm? No, that sets a precedent. Right, I'm off to Hastings. Hastings? Yeah, there's a baker's there that does Elena's favourite bread, made of spelt flour. I'm getting her some. You're going to buy bread from Hastings? Yeah, it's a selfless act. Yeah, I mean, he Hastings is, like, a really long, long way away. It's in Kent or somewhere stupid. Sussex. And I'm trying to do less <laughs> selfish things... Fewer. ...and more altruistic stuff to prove I'm worthy of Elena's love. I'm worried you might be going a, a little bit mad. You've obviously <laughs> never... Yeah, me too. <laughs> he really likes this girl, Even though. My, I like the, the way he said that line, though. He's not... He's not... Con it, it sounds like he's not concerned. He's just yeah. like... I think it's I'm surprised this didn't here, happen buddy. earlier. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Mark... I'm liking Mark this episode. He's been in love, Mark. Yes, I have. How dare you say I've never been in love? Yeah, gotta go. See you later. Just because I've never been to Zimbabwe to buy someone a fucking cake. Lovely. Getting my computer fixed for free and sneaking a look at Dobby's bum. The dream <laughs> ticket. Tea for the worker? You done me 12 sugars? I done you 12 sugars, love. We're bantering. The sign that everything's absolutely oh, fine sugars. again. Afraid your PC's screwed, Mark. The hard disk's firmware is corrupted. Arses. I need to do a CV for this shit job Sophie wants me to apply for. Anonymous desk flesh, faceless office droid. Mark Bad 3000. Yeah. Look, I'd better go, but come down to my History Walks place tomorrow. You can buy a jammed spare laptop. Thanks. How's that going? IT is IT, Mark. Doesn't matter where I'm working. I'm still on my knees with dipwads perving at my arse. Oh, it's not perving, it's appreciating. Actually, though, <laughs> that's a job you should do. History walks. That would be a great job for you. Talking about history? It's not possible. I'd enjoy it. I'd actually enjoy working. That's not something that could realistically happen. You just don't want it to be something that could realistically happen. You don't want to be happy. It makes you worried because you think it'll end and you'll be more miserable. Pop psychology, but pretty much on the money. Look, I'll get <laughs> some free tickets and you can see one of our guys in action, yeah? Yeah, OK. Bye, Mark. Good old Dobby. The anxious, self-hating man's crumpet. But probably best if I never, oh, ever say that to her. Good old Dobby. Oh, I got Dobby. you your favourite bread. Impson's bread. That's lovely. Thanks. And I got you some truffle oil to drizzle on it. Everyone's into truffle oil. Jamie, Nigella, those two men who look like burglars on MasterChef. Wine? Sure. I've been to fucking Hastings. In Kent. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Mark said it's in Sussex. I was going to say, I don't think he knew not where he Kent. went. Not Kent. I don't look. I'm not very familiar with uh, 
where certain places are located in the UK, but I would definitely trust Mark 100% yeah. to know where the location is than this fucking uh -huh. guy. I wonder why she didn't seem too excited about the bread, though. I, well, she well, might I guess... be planning to break up with him. Yeah. To lose my job and everything has turned to shit. The IT guy at work has found this some... Hastings! In Kent! How was work? I'm going to lose my job and everything has turned to shit. The IT guy <coughs> at work has found some bad stuff that I've been downloading on my hard drive. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. Bless Jesus. You. What is going on? Okay. Bad stuff. Do you mean porn? You Horny porno? Yeah. You watch porn at work? Now and then. I didn't tell you because I thought it might bother you. Of course it doesn't bother me. It's hot. Do you, you know, while you're watching? Masturbate. Oh, God, this is great. What am I going to do? They're going to sack me. Look, I'll think of a plan to sort Why this out. Why work? But first, I don't know. Let's That's get you some Impson's bread and odd oil. Wanna it's really that. sweet that you went to Hastings to get me some bread. You watch porno, you watch porno. That's the best thing in the world. So, so, yes. Shit, is this a good idea? When Meatloaf sang, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. Maybe this is what he meant. Um, <laughs> I am quite busy, so... Right. I'm going with the plan. Come on, plan. So, as I was saying, uh, I came in here to collect Elena, and you saw me. Mm hmm But then she had to go and make a call elsewhere, and it was at that point that I then downloaded and watched the inappropriate material that was found on her computer you did yeah i get bored very quickly but elena had nothing to do with it and i am sorrowful payload delivered right good so that's all cleared up then great uh not really i'm not entirely sure i believe that happened mr osborne why would you do that here shit okay time to go nuclear look peter the truth is i'm a sex addict. I wank ten, maybe twelve times a day. Jeez. Twelve times? Yes, or more. It's a disease. A wanking disease. Or more for luck. I have a wanking disease. <laughs> Look. <laughs> wow! A wanking disease. A wanking disease. Uh. Start a fundraiser for <laughs> Yeah, from start a fundraiser for that. It's very serious. <laughs> Look, I like Elena a lot. Actually, you know what? I think th this just popped into my head. Wasn't there, like, uh, uh, some king somewhere that, like, literally had to be, like, restrained in his castle because he he couldn't stop Touching wanking? Himself? Yeah. I mean, I, I feel know. like if you're the king, you can literally just wake up and be like, Hello! <laughs> like, you get to do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, I think I remember, I don't know what, where it, which kingdom it was, or the name of the king. Let us I, know. I think I remember, it was one of those, like, throwaway articles where it's, like, the five most ridiculous monarchs or something yeah. like that and one of them popped up in there that, the had a, that had a wanking problem he couldn't stop wanking but i don't know let us know let's let us if know about if anybody king. knows anything maybe this is just a dream brian had maybe he was what why king. would i dream about a king wanking I don't know. <laughs> nice stroke your majesty <laughs> don't say that jesus oh okay let's continue a disease a wanking disease. Or more for luck? I have a wanking disease. <laughs> Look, I like Elena a lot, and I really don't want to lose her, so it would be very convenient if I say had doubts about my doubts. Right. Sorry, now I'm not with you. If I say I believe you. Brilliant! So she's got away with it. Excellent. Okay, thanks, dude. <laughs> My genius plan has worked. I'm golden with Elena now. I took a wank bullet for her. This day may become special for us. Our internet wank blame anniversary day. 
Oh my god. They mount the ladder, these traitors. These thieves and cut purses. It's good, isn't he, Michael? I can see you doing that job. This guy? Yeah. Like, Being uh, like a history pretending tour. to be a history figure and giving a tour. putting on a voice and giving a tour. Yes. It, no, I, don't, I would never want to do that. I would love it. I'm sure you would. <laughs> I would. Now, act, I'd go to every tour. Maybe like being on a stage in front of people in like a show. Yeah. Maybe. Because I did. Because I did do that kind of stuff when I was younger. Yeah. When I was a kid, like I was. It's funny because like I was a theater kid, and then. Mm -hmm. I quickly realized, like, around the age of, like, 11 or 12, when I started paying attention to girls, I was like, well, they, they don't like the theater kids. They like the the sports kids. Really? So that's when I moved my focus to sports. Unfortunately, and there's a part of me that kind of regrets that, because that's when I was, like, I was a theater kid playing mm -hmm. piano and stuff and, and acting in plays. Yeah. But then I was, but I was also kind of good at sports but then i focused on sports and got good at sports my first kiss was in romeo and juliet really yeah i kissed the guy who played romeo was my first kiss hmm. so he was like a theater nerd yeah yeah but that's part of the they have to kiss that's part of the act yeah it's not a real first kiss <laughs> it's not like the th like you're in, pra in practice in, um, you know, theater class, and the teacher goes, okay, you two, go behind the closed so doors the funny, and get on with it then. No, so the funny thing about that was, it was my first kiss, it wasn't his first kiss. You're right. And in, like, the, when we practiced, you would kiss like that, like, your thumbs, but then on the real show, he kissed me for real, and I forgot what to say after, because I was like... <laughs> you got love struck. <laughs> I was like 13. <laughs> yeah. It won't blame anniversary day. Ugh. They mount the ladder, these traitors. These thieves and cut purses. Murder. It's good, isn't he, Michael? He's one of our regulars. Men, he does women, this one, children, Georgian Smithfield, news. and a ripper walk. Of course he does. Whitechapel is almost entirely made up of ripper walks. It's a shame they weren't all around in 1888. They'd have probably caught him. I love that she knows it was 1888. So few women these days are ripper literate. Quiet. Can you hear the cracks of their lily white necks as they swing from the crossbeam? <laughs> Thanks very much, folks. He thinks he's Dick Turpin. He's a highwayman, all right, holding up the carriage of history. That didn't happen. He's playing fast and loose with the truth there. The only public executions during this period were at Tyburn and Newgate. He's judging it right up. He's George Michael, making history fun. Why is it going Mark, to be fun to be worthwhile? Crick and Watson have discovered the double helix. Did they do it on a skateboard? No. Well, fuck off then. I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure you were correct there about the hanging. Oh, Finally, God. Between the truth and the myth. I say print the myth. Print the legend. Exactly. It's only history. I, I, I assume you're an out-of-work actor, like, like they have at Hampton Court, an episode of The Bill, and then it's nine months as Sir Thomas More in a maze? No, it's my living. Two tours a day, the rest of the time's your own. This morning I went to the National Portrait Gallery, big lunch and a snooze. Now I'm off for a pint. Okay, wow. Museum, lunch and a snooze. Museum, lunch and a snooze. The big three. Dobby, do you, do you think you could recommend me for a trial walk? I do have that power, yes. I'll have a word with Jan. She'll like you, you've got tidy hair. Ha! 30 years of ignoring fashion finally pays off. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's it's like I know people like that scene in mm -hmm. particular. I know some people who were like history. I I never really liked the term history buffs, but let's just use it. But, yeah. but they take it they when something like that happens where they disagree with what happened in history, mm -hmm. they don't they're not history buffs anymore. They become history nuts. Yeah. And they're like, you know, the ones that like they see a movie and they're like, well this wasn't completely accurate yeah so therefore this movie is shit yeah you know like which a part of me understands but at the same time take a fucking break for once yeah like enjoy just it. relax like it's like my favorite movie uh movie of all time and i've said this before my favorite movie of all time is gladiator yeah 
That is one of the least historically yeah. accurate movies ever made. But I just enjoy it for the story that it yeah, is. Yeah, I think it's okay to take a part of history to like use it as a base for a story. Right, but the argument against that would be that, well, people are going to see that movie that's historically inaccurate and believe that's what happened. Then say at the beginning, this is not story historically accurate. Well, they don't do that with movies. They just... You should know that. You know... Well, you should. I, I mean, but some people aren't smart enough to know that. I guess that. so. Um, but yeah, just like take take a fucking break. Yeah. You know, not everything has to happen like exactly how uh, you interpret it should have happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just enjoy it for what it is. Or if it's a shit, if it really is a bad movie, then shit on it by all means. Because yeah. Because there's a lot of movies out there, especially ones that come out lately, that I shit on in private when we're off camera. Yeah. You know, most of the I think most of the movies that come out today are not very good, but that's a discussion for another time. Some of them are just like the remakes. I'm getting. I'm getting really tired of remakes and superhero movies, and it's just I I I really want original ideas to come back, which is why I was so excited to see Oppenheimer, which I really liked, but I admit that it's not a film that everybody's gonna like. Yeah. Anyway, ran over. Let's go. Horse race is just a freak show, isn't it? Oh, let's put loads of tiny seven-stone men on horses and make them race each other. It's disgusting. They don't make them race. Oh, right, they enjoy it, do they? The tiny men. Like the elephant enjoys doing the ballet moves. It's exploitation, Mark. (sighs) What are you doing? Research for my history walk. A mercantile history of the East End. I'm excited, Jess. Genuinely excited that this could be my actual job. Although, there's the Sophie obstacle. Mm, the speed bump. Slow down, children ahead. Exactly. She'll want me to take that loss adjuster's job so I can pay for her to give birth on a trampoline made of marshmallows in a reconstruction of Greenham Common. Oh, fuck her. This is your dream, man. We're both living the dream. I'm in love with Elena, you're in love with the pastos. Pastos? The people from the past, the olden daisers. Pastos. Right, I'm off downstairs. <laughs> I like that. Got to be in for the Ocado man at Elena's. Then I'm picking up her dry cleaning. Y- you sure she's not exploiting you at all, Jazz? You're not being treated like a love jockey. Nah, this is all voluntary. Oh, My okay. job is being in love with Elena, and it's a great job. And she's almost definitely in love with me now, after I took the wank bullet. Yeah. D- do you feel at all embarrassed telling a total stranger that you were some kind of extremist masturbator? <laughs> I feel a bit humiliated and awful. But it's worth it for Elena. Oh, and I saw the porn she was looking at. Man, it's hot. I mean, she's got great taste. It's the most fantastic porn I've ever seen. Isn't it the usual dead-eyed men fucking dead-eyed women in a desperate world of pain? No, it's great. Like everything she's into. You know, girl on girl on another girl with a guy in a warehouse. Wow. (laughs) Four-way sex on a pallet of dishwasher salt. You're right, that is about the most erotic thing I can imagine. (laughs) I've been thinking, Mark, since you found having a big old think. A big old placenta befuddled think. Here comes the marshmallow trampoline. I don't want you to resent our child. And when our child looks at you, I want them to see a happy, contented role model. Not some grey-faced, dull-eyed drone who's hated his job and his life for years. (laughs) Mustering dad. So, I think you should go for it. The walking tour thing. Forget the loss adjusters. Just live the dream and just bloody do it. Shit, there's nothing stopping me now. But can I go through with it? Maybe it's better off staying as a nice idea, like the private finance initiative. Do it. It's so wild. He tries to marry her, yeah. and then they almost go through with it, then don't. Yeah. But then technically they're still married. They're talking about divorce all the time. Now they're having a fucking kid together, based on a one-night thing that they did. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy was up in there, too. And so was... Uh, that looked fun. The, what's situation? his name? Doug, the guy at work she used to date. Oh, in the I forgot about that. Oh God, it's just a. Uh, oh my God, it's so wild. This really has to be good now. I'm, I'm about to live the dream, but I'm scared it'll be that dream where I'm naked on a toilet outside carpet, right? It'll work. Don't worry. This is it, though. Isn't it? My big chance. I can start again and do something interesting after years of horrific dullness. Aww. Like Sister Wendy. You need a bit of zhuzh, though. Not sell out, just maybe a costume or something. What about doing it as Sherlock Holmes? Well, Holmes is certainly the governor, but I don't think I really want a costume. You could say elementary a lot. Yeah, he, he never really said that. Yes, he did. Everyone knows that. It's 
Elementary. Shut up. <laughs> you could just have the pipe. Yes, it uh, should, of course, be a black clay pipe rather than the mythical Meerschaum. Yeah, but you'd look wrong without a proper Sherlock Holmes pipe. An incorrect Sherlock Holmes pipe. Mark, are you actually Sherlock Holmes? No. Look, I'll, I'll think about the pipe, but I just don't want to dilute the content too much. You need a USP, and that's mine. No frills, no wigs, no spin, just telling it like it was. Right, I'm off. Need to take this. Shit. Have I... I don't think I've cleared off the thing I was watching. Actually, Dobby, would it, would it be all right if I hung on to that for a bit? Sorry, Mark. Jan wants me to install some extra memory. See you at the walk tomorrow, Captain History. Shit. If she finds it, I could always say I look at porn in an ironic way to look at the moustaches and wallpaper. That's the usual get-out, isn't it? Jez, mate. Big problem. Balls again. No, not my balls. Dobby's taking back her boss's laptop, and I don't think I cleaned off the... that porn you recommended. I didn't recommend it. I'm not time out. Yes, you did. You gave it five stars. And you didn't wipe it? I don't remember. I might have. Always wipe, Mark. Discharge your pipe, then have a wipe. That's the rhyme. A anyway, I, I was wondering... <laughs> what? It's good. You like that? Stars. And you didn't wipe it? I don't remember. I might have. Always wipe, Mark. Discharge your pipe, then have a wipe. That's the rhyme. A anyway, I, I was wondering if, if you could say, if Dobby does find it, that it was you who was looking at the porn? No. Oh, come on, Jez. Mm. It's going really well again with Dobby. I, I don't need this, and Christ, if Jan finds out, I'm dead. Tidy air on it. Dude, end. I think Dobby's like one of the coolest people that's ever been on the show. Care. I think, I she'd think she'd she would. I think she would. Yeah, she'd be she like, would be oh, cool let's delete this. It. Yeah. Unless I'm, I've totally pegged uh, her personality the wrong way. Yeah. You know. No, I think she. Cool I think she would it. be very cool about it. The porn. No. Oh, come on, Jez. It's going really well again with Dobby. I, I don't need this, and Christ, if Jan finds out, I'm dead. Tidy air or no tidy air. I just want you to take a wank bullet for me. I don't want to take another wank bullet. What am I, some kind of wank shield? Oh, right. <laughs> I see. So you'll take a wank bullet for Elena, but you won't for me. Ten minutes with her is worth more than ten years with me. Well... I think we can count our friendship pretty much over from now on. Oh, don't be a cock. I'm not a cock, but the cock has certainly crowed thrice. Really? What are you talking about? <laughs> means you've betrayed me. It's, it's the New Testament. You cock. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know, you're right. Yeah, I just got you this emergency pipe in case you need to zhuzh it up. Thanks. That's a cool looking pipe. I, I think, I think it, it is pretty zhuzhy, though. Dobby, about Jan's laptop that, that you lent me. Do you mean the jazz movies that were on there? Oh, you, you, you found those? Yeah, well, you didn't delete them from temporary internet files. It didn't have to be, like, the homes of porn. Don't worry, I've got rid of them. You should have told hey? Mark. I know, I'm, I'm really sorry. Look, you're a man. Men like to look at troubling images of heroin addicts showing their genitals for money. That's hardwired, like spatial awareness. I mean, it is disgusting and shameful, but... You know, so's the textile industry. Right. Thanks. God, you're great. I would definitely go to Hastings to get bread for you. Aww. Fuck, I'd even pop over to Ostend for waffles. See? I've lost Georgia. three already. Three have wandered off. I don't think they went for the Huguenots at all. And there's Jan, noting down my failures and mistakes and idiocy for posterity, like an evil Boswell to my shit Dr. Johnson. Right, so, uh, how's it all going? Of course it's not going well. I've got an audience of six, and three of them look like sex tourists. Right, well, <laughs> this former Huguenot chapel was actually converted into a synagogue in 1870 for Jewish people of Dutch descent. Does anyone know what the trades were that the Dutch Jews were mainly involved in? Where did Jack the Ripper kill his first victim? Oh, God, a heckler. No one? Uh, well... Actually, it was the cigar and diamond-cutting industries, leading a contemporary joker to... W was it near here that you killed them? Th this is primarily mercantile history, I'm, I'm afraid, sir. So he didn't kill anyone near here? Yes, yes, he did. You're, you're right, he did. Just over there, just outside Jessup's the camera shop. You'd have thought they'd have got a picture, wouldn't you? I'm, I'm sorry, but have you even paid? Public highway, I'll stand where I like. Right, well, you're stealing a walk. Everyone else here realises you're stealing this walk. Not worth paying for anyway. Your shit. This is a disaster. <laughs> this is a massive pedestrian oh, car no. crash.
sorry historical rigor. Sorry, pastos. Right. <laughs> well, you know, our friend there was in many ways a thief. He has brought me on to the next stage of the tour. Because, yes, ladies and gentlemen, the game's afoot. Saucy Jack is on the loose. His victims lie strewn all over Whitechapel. We must track this villain. But how? Well, that's... elementary. <laughs> I've sold out. A little bit of me has died. But you know what? Uh, a lot of me doesn't give a shit. I wonder if they actually have people dressing up and doing tours yes. like that. Yes. Yeah? I've done those. I've really? done ghost tours in London, but it was like historical. And they would dress up. And it was really fun. Yeah, I mean... Well, like, when we were in Greece, we never did any like tours or anything. Mm -hmm. um, we just looked at the stuff ourselves. Which is what I like to do. Yeah. Take it in yourself and actually read the things that they have put up for you. Mm -hmm. But I do know that, you know, when I used to live in Maryland, me and my dad, we'd, we would b visit all the uh, Civil War battlefields. Mm -hmm. Some of them are quite in, in beautiful places, by the way. Uh, Gettysburg is beautiful. Antietam is beautiful. But they would have tour guides there. We didn't do that either. But... We would walk by some of them when they were talking. But it was never somebody in a Union military uniform outfit or a Confederate no, you know, general's outfit and um, talking that way. But it was... And it always, it always uh, made me a little uneasy because sometimes you'd walk past one of them talking. It would just be like, you know, a park ranger with a gun on his hip. Yeah. Talking about these things. But sometimes you'd hear them talking and it sounded as if they were, like, still living in the Civil War. Like, yeah. well, they're living out the Civil War in their mind still. Like, they're fighting the war in their head. It. They are. A but it was, like, 50-50. It was like, wow, this guy's really passionate. And at the same time, like, wow, I think this guy really would have loved to have fought in the Civil War. Yeah. I liked like going kind of to thing. those reenactions. Re reenactions? Reenactments. Reenactments. Um, and St. Augustine, I would see those a lot. Yeah. When I was a kid, I used to go to St. Augustine like once or twice a year. Yeah. I was asking them about reenactments, and they have reenactments of their own over there. Yeah. With, like, but they can go way back because they had, you know, medieval battles. But I just and think stuff. that that's so cute that, like, a group of people get together, dress up. <laughs> I know. You love anything that involves that, yeah. So, Mark, obviously being a little dry at the start. We bit dusty bin. I don't like you, Jan. But you really pulled it off towards the end. For a first time, you really impressed me. Well, thank you. Good old lovely Jan. So, I'll be in touch about organising some more tours. That'd be marvellous. Oh, there was a file you left on the computer that you borrowed from us. Shit. Was there? Yes. I had a look at it. I'm sorry, but it was an application from you for a full-time job with a loss adjusters, and I just wanted to make sure that you would actually be available to work for us. Oh, yes, I'd, I'd absolutely be available, Jan. The, the, the loss adjusters application was just insurance, if you'll pardon the pun. It was actually quite a good pun. Is that Jeremy? Is it over? Yeah. yeah. How do you do? Shit, then shitter, but then good. Great. I was feeling a bit guilty about not coming. You know, I think I've been taking Mark a bit for granted since I started seeing Elena. You know, it's been Elena this, Elena that all the time. Elena, Elena, Elena. And that's wrong. Anyway, Elena said I should come and make it up with him, so here I am. Right, well, he's just talking to Jan at the moment. So I can delete that file on the laptop then? Yes, please. File. Ah. Uh, that wasn't actually Mark's fault, that file. Oh, no. no. Jeremy, you, you don't need to do this, really. No. The porn on your computer, Jan. The hardcore pornographic sex film on your laptop. That was me. I'm fundamentally a sex addict. I wank 10, maybe 12 times a day. It's a disease. <laughs> a wanking disease. Oh, I no. done the downloading, and then I done a wank. I'm, I'm so sorry, Jan. This won't be a problem, will it? Um, I'll, uh, give you a ring, Mark. Superb. That's the single nicest thing oh, Jeremy has so ever mad. done for me, and it's completely ruined my life. You lovely shithead. You lovely shithead. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, good episode. That was a good episode. Good episode. These Peep Show episodes are excellent. I know. Um, nothing could be as good as the last one. 
No, in our that opinion, one was in our so opinion, we, oh uh, that last gosh. episode was our favorite. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Jeremy has a wanking problem. A wanking problem. <laughs> but it was like kind of it, the the ending of that is actually very interesting because yeah. he's actually because remember Trying Mark was be giving him friend. shit for like oh you're gonna uh, bail Elena out but not yeah. me after all these years so he goes to do it but. Yeah. It's right after and he's he doesn't even have to do and it. And that's what I mean. Like, we thought was going to happen in the first place. Like, Dobby seems like she's just going to delete it and be like, oh, yeah. you're fine. I caught it for you. Yeah, dude. And again, that's the one. That, she's the one that Mark should be with. Yeah. Even after well, all the times he's... he ruined it. Even after all the times he's messed up with her, she's still like... She's still friends with him. Yeah. Still yeah. forgives him. I wonder what's going to happen with this Sophie stuff. Yeah. With this baby, because... I'm interested. It's kind of like, that's like... Even though it's like a side plot at this yeah. point, it's still like looming over everything. It's still life-changing. Like, how yeah. are they going to do all these crazy They're... things? And then he also has a baby. Like, there are so many ways they could go with this idea. Yeah. It's, it's just... It's crazy. Yeah. Because it, it really is like a side plot, but it's looming over everything. Yeah. Oh, man. That was good. Though. I don't know, but it's going to be interesting to see moving forward. It's going to so. be two guys and a baby in their apartment trying to take care yeah. of it. And of all the shows that rea- we're reacting to at this point, mm-hmm. I mean, you've popped in to the Peep Show ones just because yeah. you're bored. <laughs> yeah. From I like it, though. It's funny. Doing bed rest Nothing. for a month. But, um, yeah, I think Peep Show might be. It's not my f- favorite show that I'm reacting to. I think that's probably only Fools and Horses. Mm-hmm. But um, I think it might be the best right now. Yeah, it's good. It's just it's just really good. I saw the, like a lot of the comments said like season four was like the best one, but I really enjoyed season five, and I'm really I like enjoying the crazy season antics six. that like, are coming out in season those six. Two, yeah. Those two seasons are like wow, or like are my favorite so far, even though season four was fantastic yeah. as well. But man, five and season five and six is I'm really like that. Well, I definitely drank all this water. <sighs> Did you? I gotta Good. Go. Keep drinking more. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks for coming guys. We'll see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. Stay tuned for more reactions. Peace out, Boomerites.